report. So we have all of our sill plates and top plates cut for the round wall. So what we did is take 2x8s and cut them into rounded segments and cut them wide enough so we would get a 2x4 front to back and one sideways for each wall segment. So basically what we're going to have is um, on each end of the segment we're going to have a 2x4. Those 2x4s are going to sit against each other and they're going to be nailed together. That's going to make the rigid support for the staircase. And then on the outside of that whole sandwich we're going to take another 2x4 
and going to nail that on so it ties those 2x4s together as well as finishes up that sandwich. So we get a good, basically a 4x5, mm, 3.5 by 5 post everywhere where these plates come together. And then we're going to have another stud centered in the middle there. Okay, so a sandwich, a stud, a sandwich, a stud, a sandwich, a stud, and so on. That is going to be our round wall. And now sit back and watch it build it. morning guys so it's another day and uh, just wanted to show you real quick if it weren't for those two pieces we would have actually finished up our round wall yesterday but we got rained out again and as you can see with all the puddles standing on the concrete it's been pretty much raining all night. And for over a week now, we hear on the news, oh, it's gonna be mostly dry with a you know, a shower here and there, and then we get to the land and it's drizzled pretty much all day. So, weather forecasters, if you hear this, we're not impressed. Anyway, so today we're going to finish up that wall uh, we're probably going to start putting the top plates on uh, here on that round wall and maybe going um, on those 2x4 walls here and probably also working on those headers out there and up there and then we see what the weather does. Okay, with that we'll go back to work.
close of the tenth day of framing and we are actually complete with the first floor as far as the framing is concerned. We have all the headers in, all the top plates, the round wall for the staircase is complete and doubled up. We've got and we've put a sheer wall in at the powder room. That's what the diagonal is. It makes this a sheer wall. That wall is going to give us the support to keep the sides from collapsing in like a house of cards in the case of a severe windstorm. Because the front and the back don't have any major support going on across from front to back. So that's going to help stiffen up the house. We've got one on both sides of the powder room. As you can kind of see as I walk around. Here's another one. And there's another header. Header over the window is complete. Little cripples. The header over the back windows is complete with the plate on the top. Oh, look there, I found a square. Yeah. It's one of the bad things about working up on a scaffold is that you can leave things on the top. And that's what Wolf did. Oh well can be retrieved easily. And with that, yeah, we're going to head to the house. You, like, oh. Finger. They don't want to see that. <laughs> it's part of building a house. It's crashing a finger every now and then. Okay. So let's head to the house. Bye. See ya. Bye.